it was like, okay, so the store I usually go to, go to cards now, can who is going to get me my vape? And then he was like, not me. <laughs> not me. He's like, not me. That's what he said. Well, he was just like, not me. Not me. Okay. Yeah, he was just like, not me. You're not. If You're I get not, you this. If I get you this. I'm just repeating it. Go ahead. He's like, if I get you this, it's kind of Into illegal. The mic. Into the mic. If I get you this, it's kind of illegal because Valid. you're not an adult yet. Okay. And I said, okay, well, you don't have to. I will just find another way to get it. And then he Guilt trip. was like, mm. no, like, I'll get it for you, but I will feel bad because it is illegal. And I said, okay, then don't. Did you call him a pussy? No. <laughs> I mean, I mean, what a putz. This guy wasn't even willing to do criminal activity for you or anything. What, what a real piece of garbage this guy I did, is. I will say I did call him a bitch once. But that's, oh, that's bro, you, you can't, can't leave that. that shit out. Wait, okay, hold on. What's the context here? Was this during the vape conversation? Yes, yes. There shouldn't even bro. be any context. You can't call him a man. Yeah, yeah. like the respect is out the Wait, door. Let's, hear, let's hear the rest of it, though. I Go ahead. told okay. him, I was like... If you don't want to get it, that's fine. But I'm my own person, and I would still like to get one. Mm -hmm. I, I let him know. I was like, you're not my dad, and that I am my own person, and I will do what I want with the money that I have. Well, he, I don't think he was trying. He wasn't trying to prevent you from getting it, right? Or No, he was just like, it's legal. I don't want to get it for you, point yeah. blank, period. But then you said, well, I'll get it from somebody else. But then he was he had safety concerns of like, I don't know what can you, can you like, uh, taint a vape? I don't know. I don't know either. But how did? You, what was the context of you calling him a bitch? Um, let me rethink. Was it during the vape conversation? Yes, it was. Okay. What What did he say then? What What did you say? In context. I think it was because he just knew. I, I, w I vaped and he knew it was like a, vaping is like a bad thing and he wanted me to do it less and so I let him know I was like okay I will take that into consideration but I am my own person and I will do it if I want to and then I think that's where I called him a bitch so what what's what exactly did you say I said oh, I said oh, I said okay I understand can you stop being a bitch mm. Now then we that, know the break did you did there. you put did you put Lil in there? What? L I L. Did you put Lil? Lil did you put Lil no. bitch? I just put. Or was it just? It was just a bitch. So, oh. there's a couple things here. Uh, You're not allowed to call guys bitches. No. 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 It just, like, it just no. feels like he was trying Dude. to do what was best for you. Well, you, like, you have to understand. Like, okay, yeah. here's a, here's two like things. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Two things. First off, this is one of the very like. We spent about five minutes talking about it, but you, you withheld a very important piece of evidence that we could have used to prosecute you for your crime. No, but like, this is what people do. They'll like, they'll downplay what they've done wrong mm. and they'll exaggerate what the other person's yeah. done wrong. I've, me personally, I've never done that ever. I always am totally 100% honest. If, if I did something wrong, I'll say it. I will paint a good, if I, especially if I'm asking for advice. Yeah. I'll always be sure, okay, here's what I said, here's what they said. I won't leave certain details out to try to paint me in a better light. But you calling him a bitch is like the major, bro, a guy wants to feel respected by his girl. Respect is huge for men. Men will kill, kill. Mm -hmm. Other men, because other men disrespected them. It's not even, won't even necessarily be about money. If a guy disrespects, I'm not saying all men will do this, but men will literally kill other men for feeling disrespected. And as your woman, he wants you to, he, he wants you to respect him. I mean, I think this goes both ways. But for men, like, respect is on a whole nother level. You can't, like, you don't respect your man if you're calling him a bitch. You, it's, it's respect is to men. That's an love insta breakup. Like, there's no going back. Yeah, no. There's, like, men re put respect above love. So the way we want, we want to receive love is 
that respect. So if you don't respect a man, you can't expect him to be a provider, a protector, because he's like, he doesn't respect me, so why would I do any of these things for her? Mm -hmm. So the moment you call him a bitch, it's like, that's that's like the cardinal rule you never do. If you want to break up with someone, call a man a bitch. Like, not even in a joke, not anything like that, but respect is literally the most important to, to a man, just like how we want to receive love. So, yeah, I mean, that is the reason for the breakup. It's that I don't even think it has anything to do with your partying. It has nothing to do with any of that. It's the fact that he just doesn't feel respected. So, I find it interesting, too, that um, just kind of going back to the TikTok as well, mm-hmm. that, you know, you, you're having a hard time finding, like, marriage or, like, these long-term relationships. But, mm-hmm. like, for me, I would never call my husband that just mm-hmm. because of that respect. So it makes me wonder if, you know, it's okay if you're not ready for marriage, but you're just maybe not ready for that mm-hmm. long-term, like, committed relationship. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Just something. Yeah, on the TikTok, you wrote, dating to marry. And dating to marry, like, that's what I do. If, when I decide to date, I put myself out. I act like a wife, mm-hmm. right? Because I'm trying to attract a husband. So if... If my actions don't align with what I want, then I'm not going to attract the guy that I want. Mm-hmm. So if you're saying dating for marriage, that's a big thing to say. If you're just having I mean, dating to date, cool, do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. But no, you dating, can't even. You want to yeah, stand. You can't call yeah, a guy of course. bitch either. No, I'm <laughs> not saying the bitch. That that's a whole. That's that's a that's absolutely a non-negotiable. That's like literally, yeah, no. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I'm saying like dating to marry, it's different. Like you really mm-hmm. have to portray that person to attract that because if you're partying you're calling him disrespecting him and all mm-hmm. that's like that's not dating to marry like that's yeah no. do you think that when you said I'll get it from someone else he thought you meant another guy or was it truly mm-hmm. about vaping mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. given that you were a partier that's, pro- that's where my mind went right away when mm-hmm. I said someone else I was talking about like my friends mainly also I didn't know it was I don't know if it's just the younger generation but I didn't know it was a cardinal rule <laughs> not to call a guy a bitch. Like I didn't know that. It emasculates them. Like you, I really it, didn't know that. Wait, do, let me ask you a question. If he called you a mm-hmm. would that would that would be chill with you? That'd be cool. I think it, they hold, hold on, let's let her answer. So, hold on. I'm like so trying to picture him calling me a <laughs> and it's like not happening. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 but the question, the question is, if he did, if he were to, we're, we're not saying that he would. We're just saying, if he did, mm-hmm. would that have been okay with you? No, of course not. So I guess I'm seeing the opposite end. Yeah. Wait, so what is the culture, though? Because you said you're 19, right? So, yeah. I mean, what is the culture? Right. The culture is talking shit to men. I'm 20. I'm here with you. Just yeah. Like, all, all, everyone nowadays, about. they just talk shit about each other. What? Like, yeah. that's it. Maddie? But maybe... That's why that's relationships true. don't last. Maybe that's why relationships oh, that's aren't yeah. lasting. Yeah. yeah. There's the relationship bro, what's wrong with Gen Z women? Get the fuck... Bro, <laughs> no way. Yeah. Well, that's got, why I've everything's like, so the grass is greener. It's like, there's no respect. You guys are just ready to jump from one thing to another. There's no respect. There's no like uh, core values there's none of that that's why there's relationships are gen z men start calling these women that is literally the oh no 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 No. but you're trying to say that it's cool for like oh that's how it is we just call men i'm not saying what i was just telling her i'm in that generation too and i was going to say something you were co-signing no i was saying i'm in that generation too i'm 20 years old i'm in that generation but i do not agree with what you bro there's no generation where any guy who who's like actually worth anything is going to tolerate his girlfriend calling him a I understand no, that. I feel no, the same exact no. way. 